The first step in our project is to build the basic user interface, which for this app will be a navigation view so we can show our app's name at the top, a large gray box saying tap to select a picture over which we'll place their imported picture, an intensity slider that will affect how strongly we apply our core image filters, stored as a value from 0 to 1, and a save button to write out the modified image to the user's photo library. Initially, the user won't have selected an image, so we'll represent that using an at state optional image property. First, add these two properties to content view at state private var image optional image. At state private var filter intensity equals 0.5. Now modify the content of its body property to this navigation view, vstack, zstack, rectangle, dot fill, color, dot secondary. In a comment, display the image, dot on tap gesture, and another comment, select an image, hstack, text intensity, and a slider bound to our filter intensity double with some vertical padding. And another hstack with the first button saying change filter, and a comment change filter, and a spacer, and our second button, a save button, with a comment saying save the picture. And finally, we'll add padding horizontally and at the bottom, and add a navigation bar title saying insta filter. There are lots of placeholders in there, and we'll be filling them piece by piece as we work through this project. For now, I want to focus on this comment, display the image. This is where we have to show the selected image if we have one. But otherwise, we should show a prompt telling the user to tap that area to trigger an image selection. Now you might think this is a great place to use if let and try replacing that comment with something like this. If let image equals image, image, dot resizable, dot scale to fit. Else, text, tap to select a picture, dot foreground color, dot white, dot font, dot headline. However, if you try building that, you'll see it doesn't work. You'll see a fairly obscure error message along the lines of closure containing control flow statement cannot be used with function builder view builder. What Swift is trying to say is that it has support for only a small amount of logic inside Swift UI layouts. We can use if some condition, but we can't use if let, for, while, switch, and so on. What's actually happening here is that Swift is able to convert if some condition into a special internal view type called conditional content. It stores the condition and the true and false views and can check it at runtime. However, if let creates a constant and switch can have any number of cases, so neither can be used. So the fix here is to replace if let with a simple condition, then rely on Swift UI support for optional views. If image is not equal to nil, and then image question mark. That code will now compile, and because image is nil, you should see the tap to select a picture prompt displayed over our gray rectangle. 